The fashion and creative and retail communities are a tribe. They're built on creativity and passion and perseverance and belief. It's one of the few industries where women are in significant positions of power, where gender identity is not a big deal. And so I am continually inspired by the level of creative talent, the level of commitment, and the fact that people are doing this thing because they have to. Every brand's got their personality, but you can personalize how that's manifested, you know, and, and really connect with what your customer is interested in. How do you build something that is going to outlast? And I think that is really, really, really a space that most people are not having a conversation about because they're having a conversation about how do I just get through tomorrow? There's this inherent fear in all of us, this, this fear of going for what you really want to go for. And then in life, there's always other opportunities that present themselves and they seem like the road of less resistance. The most important thing at that really young age is to try to sort of meet and manage those fears. The best way is when you know what you're doing and you really you believe in what you want to do. Brands are, are gonna move away from a geographical focus to a demographic focus. Who is my target customer? It doesn't matter where that customer is. It's going to be less about winning in Toronto or winning in Canada. And that's going to be hard to make that a winning strategy in the context of e-commerce and globalization. There's this thinking very much driven by an engineering mindset of let's analyze how we do things and let's not be afraid to reinvent how we do things. I think what the beauty industry does and has been doing is they're really big on innovation, keeping it fresh, keeping it relevant, and innovating day in and day out. 